fucking it was scary. It was dark. I dressed in black. I took a stick and began to dig, making rude noises outside the door while snorting like a pig. <laughs> Then, like a creature with sharp claws, I scratched on the outhouse wood. Not a sound, not a sound, was heard within. I knew I was getting in good. Then, I shook that little building with all the strength that I could muster. Fred hollered, Hey, get out of here. I thought, this will get you, Buster. <laughs> For all the pranks that Fred played on me, I was evening up the score. I started banging on the walls. My goodness, how he swore. <laughs> <laughs> then, scratching most ferociously, I let loose my Fiercest growl. <laughs> I heard. See? See what they do to me? <laughs> I heard splats plopping in the depths, toilet paper rolling on the towel. Scared the you know what out of him. I kind of let out a snicker. <laughs> Oops, I knew I'd given myself away. He yelled, Gal, if that ain't the kicker. He stormed from that one holer. Oh, I feared his consternation. Gal, I'd be madder than heck, but you cured my constipation. <laughs> Oh, I'm 
I said, why don't you ride in your own truck? Yeah. <laughs> I can be a man who don't like grandchildren. Oh, I can be a man who don't like their own grandchildren. <laughs> One man said he didn't like them to stay. Overnight he thought he'd move away.
What do you feed your babies? And she says, well, I give them leaves from the trees. Oh, really? Said the big mouth frog. He hops on a little further in the forest and comes across a gorilla. He says to the gorilla, good morning. And the gorilla says, well, good morning, sir. And he says, what do you feed your babies? And the gorilla said, well, I feed them bananas. Oh, really? Said the big mouth frog. He hops on a little further and comes across an alligator. He says to the alligator, good morning. And the alligator says, well, good morning, sir. He says, what do you feed your babies? And the alligator says, well, I feed them big mouth frogs. And the frog says, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I hope y'all are having as much fun out there as we are up here. Now, this is back and mom has been a well-loved popular song throughout the years, included in books, movies, TV shows, even McHale's Navy and the old Yeehaw game. But no one memorialized it better than Ernie Berlin in his song, You Can't Get a Man with a Gun. A man's love is mighty, he'll even buy a nighty. For a gal, he thinks it's fine. But he won't buy pajamas for pistol pack and mamas. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
The other day, I was watching my five-year-old daughter admiring herself in a mirror. And she says to me, who was it who made you? And I said, well, well that was God uh, here. And she said, uh, did he make me too? And I said, yes, he did. And then she thought a second and said, you know, I think he's doing a lot better work lately. Yeah. <laughs> Now turn your attention to Calamity Karen, who's going to treat us to a uh, traditional bluegrass tune, Rocky Top. Gave my 
husband a glue stick when he asks for a chopstick. Mm. Oh, he hasn't spoken to me since. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Jesus, I thought you were lost as I was. Stuff. Anyway, I heard you bought a farm on the Canadian border. Oh, yes, I got that farm up on the border, but I had to hire a surveyor to find out if my farm was in Canada or was it in the United States. Well, what happened? Well, right now I'm very happy. I found out that my farm is in the United States. All right. And I am very glad because I've heard those Canadian winters are terrible. <laughs> No, I didn't. What happened? Well, he got the diapers. He goes up to the cashier. The cashier says that's $5 for the diapers and 50 cents for the tax. Well, okay, that sounds about right. Well, the little boy said, my mama don't use tax, she use safety pins. <laughs> Say, I gotta go in and pay some parking tickets. Well, uh, that's a good idea. Kill them. Say, have you ever been up before the judge? I don't know. What time does he get up? Uh, hey, Grandpa! What's for dinner? Well, we got horse to town. Evelyn, collard greens. Pudding. And Poodle River possum pie. What's for dessert? Oh! Lulu lemon chiffon pie. Yum, yum. When are we going to get married? Merry, merry. When are we going to get married? Dear old Buffalo boy.
Why don't? Okay. Oh. Okay. Good. Well, did you hear what happened at the church service on Sunday? No. I'll tell you what. Preacher Eden was a preacher. And the people were up there singing and dancing and everything. And praising hallelujah. Wow. And then all of a sudden, the back doors of that church just blew right open. Mm -hmm. Sure did. And then come the devil. He was walking around and strutting and everything, and, and people were running and hollering and getting out of the church. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And pretty soon the whole church was empty. Oh. The devil looks around, back in the corner of the old grandpa, sitting back there with his arms crossed, and he walked up to grandpa and asked grandpa, I said, why aren't you scared of me? And grandpa looked him straight in the eye and said, uh, what did he say? <laughs> he said, nope, I ain't afraid of you. I married your sister. <laughs> well, you know, Mary Ann, I want to kiss you real bad. Oh, no, you don't. That's how you kissed me the last time. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Well, the Cole Haynes here have just returned from town where they wait themselves at Elmer Mew's drugstore. Let's all listen in as Grandpa says. Now, weighing ourselves with just one penny, all four of us, that, that just, that's just plain silly. I mean, how are we going to find out how much each of us weighs? Well, as a family, we weigh 1,000 485 pounds. Whoa! I think that's too much. That's really heavy weight for any family. Well, yes, it is, but I, I still want to know how we're going to find out how much each of us weighs. Well, they're, they're, that should be pretty easy to get see. There's four of us, and we just have to divide that into 1485. Now, let's see. Four in a one goes, uh, well, no, junior, junior. It's very simple. You just have to divide four into four. Oh, okay. Four into four goes one. Forget about the other one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, four into eighty-five goes. Uh, well, well, I, I, I'm going to have to figure this out for you. You divide four into eighty-five, and that's twenty-one and a bit. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, twenty-one and a bit plus one. That's twenty-two and a bit. Why, that's not very much at all. So that means we don't have to go on a diet. Yes. Well, that's good news. I don't even know what a diet is. Oh. Oh. Let's tune in next time when we hear everyone say... Grandpa, what's for supper? Well, we got large stew, butter pudding, Lamb and turkey, and partridge and pear tree. Time to move the haystack. And I think it's fun.
you to love me, then maybe that's not love. Well, I ain't 20 either, and I don't care neither, and the hair is gray, and I don't like it that way. That's the reason that you don't love me, then maybe that's not love.
and uh, helping us to uh, spread the joy. Right now, I would like to uh, give a hand to uh, Sherry Christensen, who has the slides. Yeah.